Phil from Undercage.com. Today we're going to take a look at iPhone 5S. Uh, before we get to the, the actual phone itself, there is a case that was launched along with the launch of the iPhone 5S. That's this leather case. Uh, I, I briefly mentioned this on the unboxing of the iPhone 5S and uh, it's, it's actually pretty well made uh, along with the clear uh, design buttons and the, the volume rockers and everything and under that is also very well designed as well. There has been few uh, feedbacks of the other medias and the review and the websites that the, the constant use of the excessive use of the case actually uh, wears it off. Uh, I haven't seen it happening yet but I do see some of the uh, what is that the colorings around there uh, here and there. Uh, it's, it's a leather, so um, it, it's impossible to for that to not happen at all. But uh, I tried uh, removing it with the the what is that lighter fluid, and uh, it works. So uh, I don't think that exactly is a big problem. Uh, this isn't a review on a case, but rather the phone. So let's take the case off. It it fits really tightly, so uh, it needs a little bit of attention to remove that from the case. Before we get to the phone, let's take a look at the design for a bit. Uh, that's the iPhone 5S in gold. That is an iPhone 5 in black. And this is the iPhone 5C in white. And uh, that's the front. And this is the back. And the gold clearly sta uh, stands up. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a very, very light gold. It's uh, named Champagne Gold. I, I think this... Many other companies have been using the term champagne gold in the color, and I think this is probably the only color that deserves to use the term champagne gold. This is the actual color that only looks like champagne in gold. Anyway, uh, before we get to the, uh, the details, let's uh, take a look at the brief uh, items that the phone has. This is the V key with the volume rocker. Uh, there, there's nothing special, it's the same old iPhone. It's, there's a nano SIM card tray and a uh, power key on top there and a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack, microphone, speaker, lightning port and everything. And on the back there is an upgraded camera with the, whoa, the brighter camera and the back facing microphone and the dual LED flash which is useful for taking portraits. There's an Apple logo, iPhone and everything. Clearly marked, it's an iPhone. And uh, on the front there is a front facing camera with the receiver and uh, the proximity sensor, uh, is that an ambient sensor? Whatever, whatever sensor that is, and a four inch screen and a home key over here with the built-in fingerprint sensor. So this is, unlike the old iPhone 5, this isn't a plastic anymore, this is a sapphire glass. So the old iPhone used to have this uh, curvy little plastic home key that breaks a lot too. And um, now this, the new iPhone has a clear the home key with the fingerprint sensor, Safari glass, very flat, and a little chrome ring around it with the matching color of the phone, which in this case, in gold. Uh, very, very nicely finished. And uh, let's get into the phone for now. So the biggest difference on the iPhone 5S is the fingerprint sensor over here. It uh, works pretty well, works really well. There, there has been other uh, phones with the fingerprint recognizing sensors, like uh, Motorola Atrix, and uh, recently in Korea, there's a Vega LTA, which had this, you have to scratch your finger on the sensor to get your finger recognized. But this one is built in the home key. What, what makes this really awesome is that you usually have the phone on, the, on a desk or whatever uh, flat floor, and uh, what you do to turn to check out what your phone has is to press the home key with your finger and it directly recognizes your finger to unlock the phone. Let's say you got a message, tap on it and just put your finger tight and it will unlock the phone for you. And even when you're on the walk, you wake your phone up and, all right, maybe that's not the finger and put your finger on it and it will unlock the screen. So what you can do to get your finger recognized is go to settings and, and I tap general. There is a, uh, there's a passcode and fingerprint menu over there. Put your finger, uh, put your passcode first. Uh, I don't know, something could happen. You, you, you can get your finger cut. That We don't want that to happen, but uh, things could happen. And uh, there's a menu called fingerprints 
and uh, I recognize I already added five fingers. It gets up to five fingers, so let's uh, take one off, delete that, and done, and let's add one. So as I'm not exactly the most polite person, I will use my middle finger. So place your finger on that, and you have to do this about 10 times if it works really well, and it does. So six, no, all right. You have to move your finger slightly to get your finger recognized, and about 10 times, and you're done with first phase of the finger recognition and adjust your grip. You don't usually, you don't always have your phone on the floor and get that like uh, put your thumb like that. You sometimes you're on your walk and you put your finger like that. So it requires you to adjust your grip and do it on another sense. Uh, so do it a couple of more times with your finger and Sometimes ask you some more, uh, ask you for more, but um, follow it. Wait for it to finish that fingerprint picture over there, and there comes the success. Now you can use this as a touch ID. They named it the touch ID for fingerprint recognition function. So there are two things that you can do. First is to passcode unlock. You can use your finger to unlock your screen without the passcode. And the other thing is that you can use it for the App Store and the iTunes Store. So App Store and the iTunes Store requires to have a complicated uh, passcode and you can use your finger to bypass, uh, to replace that with your top of your finger. So that's another thing you can do. And another, another cool thing that they, they Apple added on the iPhone 5S is the camera, a slow-mo camera. So what you can do here is you go to camera there's a menu, photo, video, and slow-mo. Slow-mo lets you take videos in the 120 frames per second. So I've done that, and there is a sample video over here. I took a train and video, and what you can do is it take, what it does is it takes the video in full 120 frames per second, and you can choose which part of the video to be played in slow-mo. So there's a little bar over here, so you can tap on that, and it will extend the video for you to microcontrol that. So slow-mo starts over here and ends up over there. So let's set that and try playing it. And here goes the slow-mo. And back to the normal speed. So that's the slow-mo. It, it takes pretty good video. It's, uh, it's better than any other slow-mo capable phones in the, on, on the market that I've seen. And uh, it also allows you to, what is that? Record the sound in slow-mo as well. Uh, no other phones have done that. Is that right? Maybe some did. Anyway, that records sound in slow-mo as well. And the other thing they added, uh, an, another neat thing they added is a dual LED flash, which is great for taking photo, uh, taking, what is that? Uh, taking photos of people, portraits in short. And uh, I can't really show you the samples because I don't want to be overtaken. <laughs> it's not exactly a uh, good, good thing for you guys as well. Um, it's not exactly the best looking guy. Anyway, so that's the, another thing they added. And uh, other things that they added is the quad, uh, no, 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 the 64-bit processor and the M6, M7, M7 motion control co-processor uh, co and then everything, which eh, doesn't exactly seem to be that radical. But... Another thing is that they, this is the first iPhone that comes with the iOS 7 pre-installed. Uh, this is not exactly a review for the iOS 7, so I won't go into little, every little details. Uh, I will do that in the following review of the iPhone 5C, since that doesn't have, exactly have that much of the things to do. Anyway, so it comes with iOS 7 and uh, nothing radically special. Uh, what else do we have here is, let's see, let's see, well, Nothing much really. This is the same old iPhone. Not many people will take a uh, look at this as a radically new iPhone. But um, if you're switching from the iPhone 5 and to iPhone 5S, it wouldn't be a radical change. So not many people will have that um, need for their switch. But if you're switching from an older generation iPhones like iPhone 5 or iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S, this is a radical change. Uh, this is a same old looking iPhone, but uh, this Touch ID fingerprint recognition and the 120 frames per second, especially the, the Touch ID, which allows you to have a 
simple method of unlocking your phone and simple method of security rather than typing your pen code or typing your password works a lot. I think that definitely works a lot. And after all, this is a beautiful iPhone. Um, the champagne gold is indeed a nice touch of a color. And as many other medias, medias have mentioned about it, iPhone definitely isn't the only phone that worth of two years contract and that much of a price, but this still iPhone still stand as one of the phones that worth the price with that two year contract. So this is still the iPhone that you guys have always wanted. And I might sound a bit much of an Apple fanboy, but um, what can I do? I am an Apple fanboy. I got like every single iPhone and except for the first gen and the and the iPhone 4S. But anyway, I got every single iPhone and uh, I got iPads, I got MacBook Pro, I got even older generation PowerBook. So yes, I'm an Apple fanboy. So that was an iPhone 5, 5, 5S as an Apple fanboy in champagne gold. And this was under KG. And on the top over there, as always, we're, we're gonna get a little neat outro here so I don't have to say this all the time. But on here, there's a subscribe button to get our review as soon as it gets unloaded on the YouTube. And on there, on the second line of the description, there's a link taking you directly to our Facebook page. Like that and subscribe that to get the latest reviews on the latest phones on the market as soon as they're unloaded. So this was under KG and I'll see you guys later in the following review of the full coverage of iPhone 5C. Thank you always for watching and I'll see you guys later. Have a good day as always. Bye.